Join us. Join us. Meow. Do not be startled. I am here to guide you as we explore the deepest recesses of your mind. You will build strange and complex worlds using only your imagination and your thumbs. A hypothetical situation missing one key part will be transmitted to your device like this one. Ads before online videos have been banished. In their place are 15 second videos of this. They are not skippable. Is life better? There are infinite possibilities you could write in to complete this scenario. Choose wisely, though, because everybody else will then answer yes or no. And you will earn more points if you split the room. Fitting name, huh? At the end of the game, the person who creates the most divisive dimensions will win. Got it? Good. Now let's begin. You are now entering the unknown, a world of unlimited possibility. I mean, there's a few limits. We all have boundaries. Let's split the room. Okay, it's time to build some strange worlds.
time's running out. Brace yourself for the Shutterbug. A stranger approaches you on the street and reveals that he has pictures of you doing this. He won't release them as long as you give him the underpants you're wearing right now. Do you do it? The longer it takes the room to answer, the more bonus points you get. Up next is... And a bag of chips. Your favorite snack food company will give you unlimited free samples if you use their slogan, this catchphrase, in normal conversation once every day. Do you agree to the terms? Here's one I like to call Proximity to Evil. It's 1941. You're in the same locked room as Hitler, alone. The only object in the room is this. You will vanish in five minutes. If you try to kill him and fail, he'll win World War II. Do you try to assassinate Hitler? Feast your eyes on Ghost in the Machine. You buy a computer and discover there's a human mind trapped inside. That mind belongs to this person. Their consciousness is taking up the entire CPU and you need this computer for school. Do you delete them? where everybody stacks up at the moment. It's time to create some more havoc.
This one is called Private Karaoke Party. It's your parents' big anniversary party, and all they wanted was a private karaoke room for them and a bunch of their neighbors. You show up and realize the monitors are all playing videos of this. There is no way to turn off the videos. Do you let your parents rock the mic? And now, Binge Pipe presents Spooky Dookie. Every time you poop, you extract a $50 bill. Unfortunately, this also comes out. Do you endure this pain for at least a month before you see a doctor? And now, late night research. A scientific sleep study is offering $2,000 to volunteers who will attempt to sleep while enduring this. The study lasts for seven consecutive nights. Do you volunteer? This scenario is called Fashion Fast Forward. The hot new fashion trend, believe it or not, involves wearing this. You have a job interview at a hip young office. It's the only promising job lead you've had in weeks. You have a family. Do you wear it? Here's where things stand at the moment.
We've reached the decisive diminish. Everybody will be presented with a new type of scenario. There will be two options to choose from. Door number one is already provided. You will decide what's behind door number two. Remember, you want to make it as hard of a choice as possible. Oh, and if you correctly predict a certain player's decision, you'll earn some bonus points. Let's begin. Write an option that you think only some people would choose. is a real concept and it's running out. Extra dimensional beings want to give humanity a gift of knowledge and you represent mankind. They will either tell you exactly where Atlantis is or the answer to this mystery. Which knowledge do you choose? Nice. No bonus points for you. Now for something different. You're stuck on, say it with me, a deserted island. One of two tablets can parachute down to you. The first one only contains season nine of Dancing with the Stars, and the second one only contains this. Which entertainment do you choose? Spoiler, Donny Osmond wins. It all comes down to this.
I have a beef with Jim. I have a beef with Jim. I'm Jim. Here's your roast beef sandwich. Thanks. And I'll never forgive you for what you did to my father. Cake donut for Sid. Cake donut for Sid. Our bakery is closing in 10 minutes. Please place a food order within the next five minutes or just continue drinking water and using our free Wi-Fi. Small blonde roast for Paula. Small blonde roast for Paula. Lemonade for Tara, small lemonade for Tara. Cafe Mocha and a glazed donut for Innis. Cafe Mocha and a glazed donut for Innis. Welcome to the seminar. My name is Toby, and this is my ex-wife, Lena. And together, we are about to change your lives. That's right, Lena. Right now, I'm looking at four lucky people on a rocket ship to riches. Great. So now that the doors are securely locked, let's get down to brass tacks. How are we going to make you rich? Simple. By unlocking your potential. The potential to invent. And as Lena said, the doors are securely locked. Kicking them can only injure you. Now everybody knows the best inventions solve big problems. And to identify those big problems, we'll need to do a little market research. On your device, you're going to receive two fill-in-the-blank prompts. Type in anything at all. And voila, you've created a problem. Now your created problems get sent to the other attendees to inspire their creative masterpieces. So let's get to it.
we're halfway home. Dawdling, time's almost up. Now look at your device. You've got somebody else's problems. Been there. Simply pick the one you want to solve. Fantastic! Now it's time to solve that problem. That's right. This is when ideas become reality, using nothing but a pen and paper. But we ran out of paper, so you'll have to use some cocktail napkins. And don't be afraid to use a little color while you're at it. We're halfway home. Oh, drawing time's almost done. You are all naturals. I was just going to say that. Okay, so now let's bring it all home. Give it a title. And a snazzy tagline. Something that makes people say, take all my money, take it right now. Let's go. We're halfway home. Not to rush you, but the clock's a ticking. Great 
great. Now, each of you will present your creation with our amazing presentation tool. Really sell yourself, too. This is no time to be shy. Exactly. Now, let's see those inventions. Stand clear and watch us work. What's up, Toby? Seems like you have a problem. I sure do, Lena. I just don't have the energy to do this. That's a doozy. Well, have I got just the thing for you. It's something I like to call. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. But what does it look like? Glad you asked. Point your peepers at this. Picasso couldn't have drawn it better himself. And scene. I'm dreading the holidays because of this. Well, I've got a plate full of fixings for you. I'd like to call it. Make my eye holes happy already. Well, looky here. Pretty cool, huh? But Lena, we'll forget about this in five minutes unless it has an unforgettable tagline. Not to worry, my easily influenced friend. Soon every billboard will read this done. It's truly special. And seen. My garden. Did you know I got into gardening? Well, I did. And it's infested. I mean, infested with this. Well, I've got a solution. I call it Show me those sweet art skills. Take a gander. I love it. Now slap a tagline on it. Then take a gander here. And that's how it's done, everybody. There's a big gaping hole in my this. That's going around, but there's a solution. Just call it. I gotta see this. Take a look-see. It's practically making love to my eyes. I'm freaking out. Give me that tagline. Let's see it. And scene. Great job, everyone! Now, each of you has been given some money tokens. Give your largest chip to your favorite invention, your second largest to your second favorite, and so on. Now, let's make some money! That's half your time. Great! Now let's see which inventions are destined for greatness. You'll need to acquire $1,000 in capital to not only fund your invention, but also net yourself a $500 funding bonus. Invest in a successful invention and get double your money back. But if it fails, they keep your cash. Let's see how you did. Oh, too bad. Way to go! Well done! Sorry, Charlie. Okay, that's it! 
Okay, for the final round, let's switch it up a bit. Instead of solving different problems, you'll all tackle the same problem. Oh. We're going to give you more money to invest, but now there's a higher funding bar to clear. Good luck. And who should choose that final problem? How about you? Simply select the problem you want everyone to solve. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, you all know the drill. Let's draw. We're halfway there. Okay, let's get a move on, folks. Time's almost over. Okay, time for titles and taglines. Okay, you should be halfway done. Okay, this is your last chance to impress, so don't hold anything back. I love to travel, but I'm always forgetting this. Well, I've got the solution. It's called... I'm geeking out. Let's see it. Take a look. That looks great. Okay, lay that sweet, sweet tagline on me. Get ready. And scene. I love to travel, but I'm always forgetting this. Well, I've got a solution. It's simply called... You've got my interest tingling. Let me show you. Well, slap my butt and call me Cornelius. Does it have a tagline? Here we go. And scene.
I love to travel, but I'm always forgetting this. Well, I've got the fix. I call it. Okay, I'm hooked. Ready? Take a look. Take that, haters. All it's missing is a tagline. Ready, Freddy? And that's how it's done, everybody. I love to travel, but I'm always forgetting this. Then I've got something for you. Just call it. My prayers have been answered, but what's it look like? Well, take a look, silly. Neato! Bring it home with a tagline. Here it is. And scene. All right, gang. Now it's time to pick your favorites, but let's raise the stakes, shall we? We're going to give you more money to invest, but now there's a higher funding bar to clear. Good luck. That's how it's done. Sorry, Charlie. Close, but no cigar. Way to go. That's it. Congratulations, you clearly have the gift of invention. Now for some bad news. You might have missed the print on the flyer that grants us the rights to any and all inventions created here today. Yeah, it was on the back. Sorry. But thanks for making us rich. See ya. Patently stupid, that's what they say. Look up here!
Well, hello, fellow art lovers. Welcome to this top secret art auction. Usually we cater to only the richest and most powerful art buyers in the world. But clearly my sense of patience needed strengthening because somehow you four were invited. Check please, it's mine. Look up I here. need it. I'll be scrubbing down this place for hours. Regardless, before we get started, we'll need some art to auction off. If you look at your device, you'll see I've securely transmitted the title of an art piece I'll need you to draw. Draw a piece of art with your device that would have that title as quickly and as accurately as you can, while also giving it that ineffable something that elevates it to being a priceless piece of art. If someone else buys your art in the auction, you'll receive 50% of the auction price. Do hurry, I bore easily. You'll actually need to draw two drawings before this timer runs out, so don't be too precious about it. A hem. For what it's worth, we're approximately halfway through the allotted drawing time. So, if you haven't moved on to your second drawing yet, wow, I'm not sure how you survive in the real world. You've squandered too much time! Submit your drawings now, or they will be lost. And your time has come to an end. And I see at least one piece of art didn't get submitted in time. Luckily, we have some art in the back that we can throw in. The auction must go on. Speaking of which... A few quick words about how the auction is going to work. We're going to auction off ten drawings. Some drawings are worth a great deal of money to the art buyers who couldn't attend the auction, and others are worth a great deal less. You'll each begin the auction with $3,000 to use to buy art, although you'll make more when another player buys one of your drawings. Our art buyers will send each of you different information about exactly what they're willing to pay for a few of the drawings. The buyers are lonely, so they'll send you a new text at the beginning of each auction. In fact, you should have your first message on your device now. Remember, you can and should try to buy any drawings you suspect might be worth something. Or if you just don't want someone else to have it. Whoever has made the most profit by the end of the game wins. The first item up for bid... The bidding will begin at $400. Do I see $400? I'm looking for $400. Anyone. Anyone at all. Anyone. I need it. Next is $700. Who here can show me? It's mine. Next up is $800. Who here? I need it. Who can show me $1,100? Do I see $1,100? I would like to see $1,400. I. It's mine. Now we're at $1,500. I need it. Do I see $1,600? I would love to see $1,600. I am looking for $1,600. It's mine. We are looking for $1,700. This is where we separate the heroes from the infants. It is time to buy some art, people, and I am looking for $1,700. Going once... I need it! Do I see $1,800? Who here can give me a- Give me $1,900! It's mine! Next up is $2,000. Can I get $2,000? I would like to see $2,000. Going once. Going twice. 
sold. Congratulations are in order to Red for winning that auction. Let's see which artist was responsible for this artistic masterpiece. All right, Orange. Half of this money goes to the house, and the other half goes to you. A nice little bump to your assets. But more importantly, let's see how much Red can sell this piece of art for. Sensational! We'll just set this money aside for you, Red. We will add it to your tally at the end of the game. Next up... How about we start the bidding at $400? I'm looking for $400. Do I have $400? I'm looking for $400. I need it! Next is $7. Can I see $900? Who here? Look up here! Now I'm looking for $1,000. A small price to pay for a piece of culture such as this. Ten $100 bills. Who does not have that in their pocket right now? And therefore, who is going to offer me $1,000? Going once. Going twice. Sold! Congratulations, Gray! Moving right along... The bidding will begin at $400. I am looking for $400. $400. Anyone? Anyone. Would anyone care to bid? $400. I need it! The next bid is $700. What I am looking for and... <laughs> Who can show me $1,000? I am looking for $1,000. The next bid will be $1,000. Going once. Going twice. Sold! Congratulations, Blue! Bravo, successful art collector! Moving along... Orange, come on, buddy, get in there, buy something! How about we start the bidding at $400? Do I see $400? I'm looking for $400. Do I see $400? $400 is the next bid. No one? I need it! Who can give me $700? Can I get $700? What I'm looking for is $700. Going once. Going twice. Look up here! Now I'd like $800. I'm looking for $800. Can I get $800? Going once, going twice, sold! Congrats, Gray! Gray has purchased their own piece of art. Gray, you are your biggest fan. That's a little self-involved. Unfortunately, you don't get your own money back when you buy your own piece of art, so this money is all staying with the house. <laughs> On we go. Red, you've been awfully quiet these last few auctions. The bidding will begin at $400. Do I see $400? I'm looking for four. I need it. I'm looking for is $500. Do I see five? It's mine. Now I'm looking for $800. Do I see $800? $800 is what we're looking for. Going once. Going twice. Sold! Congratulations, Red! Moving on... We're halfway through. Let's make this game a little less friendly. You each have one screw. Use it to force another player to bid, assuming they still have enough money. Use it wisely. Or don't. I'm not going to tell you how to or not to screw. Oh, look, it's the lone people. Running low on money? 
predatory loans can help. Just press the loan button on your device now and get $1,000 that you can use in auctions right away. Oh sure, at the end of the game you will owe back $1,500. But don't think about that now. And remember, if you want to borrow money between auctions, just hit the Call Predatory Loans button on your device. Predatory Loans! We're very rich, but we don't sleep well at night. How about we start the bidding at $400? I am looking for $400. $400. Anyone? Anyone. Would anyone care to bid? Four. I need it. Next is $700. Who here can show me $700? We are looking for $700. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Congratulations, Orange. Look at all that fake money you earned. The bidding will begin at $400. I'm looking for $400. Do I have $400? I'm looking for $400. Can I get $400? The next bid is $400. I need it! I would like $500. $500 is what I would like to see. Okay, Gray. Well, well, well. You're screwed, Orange. I need it! Thank you, $500. Can I get $600? What I am currently looking for is $600. What you must ask yourself is, am I the type of person that can let this piece of artwork slip from my life because I was unwilling to pay the sum of $600? Going once. Going twice. Sold! Congratulations, Orange! Ooh, money, money, money! Moving on. How about we start the bidding at $400? Do I see $400? I'm looking for $400. Do I see $400? Four... All right, Blue. Don't look now, Gray. You're screwed. I see 400. Thank you, 400. We are now at $500. Is there no person of consequence who will step forward and offer $500 for this piece before us? What I am looking for is 500. I need it! Now we're looking for $600. Do I see $600? Look up your. Next is. I need it! Next up is $800. Who here can give me $800? The next bid is $800. Going once. Going twice. Sold! Congratulations, Orange! Well, look at you, all successful! Moving along. Oh, come on. The bank is annoying, right? Predatory loans when you can't borrow money from your family. The bidding will begin at $400. I'm looking for $400. Do I have $400? I'm looking for $400. Can I get $400? The next bid is $400. All right. Oh, oh, red. You got screwed. It's high. 400. Very good. Now I'm looking for five. I need it. How about $600? Who will give me $600? I'm looking for $600. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Congratulations, Orange! Well, that was quite a windfall. Moving on. How about we start the bidding at $400? Do I see $400? 
I'm looking for four hundred dollars. Do I see four hundred dollars? Four hundred. I need it. I am looking for is five hundred dollars. Now I'd like eight. I need it. Nine hundred dollars. Who here can show me nine hundred dollars? Not. Look up here. One thousand is what I'm looking for. Who here can show me one thousand dollars? I would like to see one thousand dollars. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Congratulations, Gray. Get a load of you and all your success. And now it's time to make most of you sad. to Doodle Valley where nobody locks their doors. I've checked every single door. Thank you all for volunteering or being court ordered to participate in our town beautification initiative. Remember, non-volunteers can still make a difference by joining the audience. The mayor wants to turn all the drab white walls in the town into colorful community art projects. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? That's right, Bethany. That's not my name, sir. And I know just where to start. <laughs> right here. As you can see, this masterpiece has already started. The city council was supposed to agree on what to paint, but this is as far as they got before their 11-month recess. In my day, if you started something, you finished it. We believe in a little thing called democracy around here. 
So I'll let two of you make additions to the drawing, and your fellow volunteers will vote on who made it better. Oh, and I'm keeping you on a short timer to make sure you don't overthink it. Okay, volunteers. Ready? Still ready? And ready. I mean, go. While our doodlers doodle, the rest of you can react to each drawing with the buttons on your device. I just love to jam on them. I never thought I'd say it, but I'm an undecided voter. You all are gonna have to decide which one of these is better. So vote already. Here we go. We've got our results. Not so fast, Melissa. Each match, I'm going to single out one emoticon for a special reward. The drawing with the most of the emoticons will get a little bonus. This time, the bonus goes to the drawing with the most hearts. The people have spoken. Okay, let's see what you two can do. Go! Okay, count them up. This time, the bonus goes to the drawing with the most laughing fellas. <laughs> Fantastic! Now let's see what you two can add. Go! Rack up those votes. Next up. Go.
vote. That shook out. It's magnificent. I couldn't imagine adding anything else. Now it needs a good title. Suggest one on your device now. Which one is it gonna be? Let's vote! I, uh, wow. Huh. <laughs> I love it. Where else is in need of a little surprise beauty? How about here? Get ready for community fun. Go! Finish. Boat away. Moment of truth. Next up, go. It's voting time. I love this part. Next on deck, go.
Let's count those votes. Up next, go. Time to vote! Moment of truth! The only thing missing from this work of art is a solid title. Find the title that speaks to you and vote. Now, now, Thelma Lou, as mayor, I get to break all the ties. I pick this one. Buckle up, here comes the final piece. <laughs> it's making me cry, and I don't know why. Oh, pervy. What's our next task, sir? Oh, I got a special treat for our budding artist, Dr. Zydeco. That's not... <sighs> Fine. What is it? You all have done so well, I want to commission you to do a portrait to hang in the town hall. Listen up, everyone, because this time you're all drawing at once. I want to fill the town hall with portraits of our fine citizens. And just flip through the old Doodle Valley phone book. Viola, this is who you get to draw. Are you sure that wasn't the town's pet registry? Hey, 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 show some respect for your elders. This generation now, you young kids, with the respect well, that you I have. I suppose pets are people too. Why don't you start by drawing a head on this cute little animal body? Hmm? Whatever head you want what is fine with me. Means. But that doesn't matter. The thing that matters is. I was supposed to take care of that.
bad options here, but let's vote on which is best. A tie, huh? How about I pick this one? Okay, next let's do the legs. And vote! we put a tail on there. and vote. Finally, finish this off in any way you want. I trust you all implicitly. Here it is, the last vote.
Let's admire our work, shall we? <laughs> they should have sent a poet. After a beautiful artistic experience like that, does it even really matter who the winner was? Oh, it, oh, it does? Okay, then. Civic Doodle, Civic Doodle, just find a blank wall cause we're gonna have a ball once you start to play this game. Civic Doodle, creepy Soodle, but I'm tying a vest cause you gotta look your best if you're gonna doodle with me. I'll come to Doodle Valley, it's a play. Show no restraint And try to draw a better thing than the other person who's doodling it right next to you Three, two, one. Okay, there's four of you. I guess my son isn't the only one who has online friends. Take that, Toby. Don't forget you can join the audience at any time. If enough people do it, maybe we can break the internet. I was going to work on a spreadsheet, but yeah, sure, let's play a game. Welcome to the internet. I'm Todd, but you might know me by my hip-hop name, Lil Stinker. Before we begin, check out this quick tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Party Boy 7 here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. So, in each round, you'll get a prompt on your device. Go ahead and answer it. 
Those responses will then be sent to another player. The objective is to twist these words in the most ridiculous way possible. So if my friend Paul said selfie sticks are quote, super dumb, then I would take him out of context. Say we're on a news site. Their super dumb would be an outrageous comment to what headline? Oh, I got it. Everybody then votes on whose comment looks the most absurd. I get rewarded for writing the twist, and Paul gets some pity points for looking foolish. The person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please. I feel so empty inside. Let's start things off at a news site. Okay, you're getting a prompt on your device. Don't overthink your response. Just follow your gut. Another player's comment has been sent to your device. Twist their words in the funniest way possible. It's the moment of truth. Vote for the comment you think looks the worst in this context. I mean, I know who I'd vote for, but it's up to you. Let's see who got the votes. This is who burned you. They get some points. And you, the victim, get some pity points. 
Good grief! No. Let's see where everyone stands at the moment. Great. Now let's go to a social networking site. You're getting another prompt. Go ahead and be candid. This is our safe space. Here's your clay. Now mold it into something beautiful. Is anyone else's heart racing right now? Vote for the comment you think looks the most absurd. And here are the results. Dang. You got played, son. Let's see what that round did to things. Let's switch things up and go to a uh, job networking site. Another prompt is headed your way. Now please get to it.
Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Okay, you knuckleheads. Here we go. Do your civic duty and vote now. Here's what people think. I hope your parents aren't watching. It's time for the scoreboard. Let's end things at a photo sharing site. And points are worth double this round. Here is your last prompt. It's time to take the gloves off. Really go for it this time. Okay, let's see how you've grown as writers. Thank you. 
Okay, go ahead and cast those ballots. Let's see who got the points. You look foolish. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. It all comes down to this. Congratulations! I wish we could stay in this moment forever, but we can't. <laughs>